Hi everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I went plant shopping today and um, I am almost getting home. It's right there on top of the hill ahead of us. That's where I live. I bought some bushes today to plant in the garden and also a couple of succulents and uh, some orchids too. I went to two different places. One of them sells garden plants and orchids as well. The other one also sells plants, but mostly amazing decoration for the garden and for the home too. First I'm showing you the orchids I bought. Then some clips I took at one of the shops I went to. And then we will finish by taking a look at the other plants I bought. So these are the orchids. Two of them are miniatures. Only this one will grow into a large plant. This uh, one is Angrecum vecchi or vecchii. I couldn't resist it. This is the kind of orchids that are not easy to come by locally. It is a very young plant, but uh, it seems to be an healthy plant, so I'm quite happy with it. This other one is Sideria japonica, a small species from Japan. This is now considered a Phalaenopsis, but it is mostly recognized by the older names Sideria. Maybe because it has quite a different care to most Phalaenopsis. Once this plant was in the genus Aridis, and then transferred to genus Sideria. Amazingly, Sideria is Aridis, uh, spelled backwards. <laughs> I find it interesting. This is a cool grower and not easy to grow as its care has a few particulars. This is my second attempt with this species and hopefully I get the hang of it this time. She's in bud, soon the blooms will be open. They are lovely and smell quite nicely. The uh, third one here is not uh, an easy orchid to grow either. This is a Sophronitis a cross between two species, uh, namely Manticaira and Brevipendiculata. This is a cool grower, native to high altitudes in Brazilian tropical forests. And um, it needs the right balance between cold and humidity. All three uh, of these orchids are in great need of repotting, but uh, I will have to wait till days get warmer. Before checking the other plants I bought, let's take a stroll around this shop. I love to come here. I love to watch all these pots and decorations. They are typical of different regions in Portugal. I love to watch them and I could stay here for hours. And I usually do. You can find all kinds of uh, decoration items here, including a two-story building in the back packed with furniture of different designs. And in fact, the main purpose of coming here today was the furniture section, as my husband wanted a very particular chair. I did not film it there, as we were too busy for one hour. I guess my husband tried hundreds of chairs in the building until he made up his mind. This area here is their permanent display of pottery and it's situated near the roads. All these are made in Portugal. These are miniatures of the most common windmills in Portugal. The real ones are not used to grind cereal anymore, unless a few for touristic or informative purposes but uh, there are still many to be seen in the landscape. Let's go indoors now. They have all kinds of decoration and mostly pottery. Most of the pottery, I think all of it, it's hand painted. 
some very beautiful pieces here. Designs for all tastes. Some very lively colors, others with less saturated ones. This type has different shaped pieces with the cabbage leaf motif. It's very popular, this one. These are hand painted too, with a different uh, look. Textiles, dried flowers, they have it all. Some imported items as well. They have flowers too. The only orchids here are Phalaenopsis and Cibidium, which are the most commonly appreciated. They also have houseplants. And uh, some succulents here. And outside they have plenty of garden plants such as annuals this time of the year. Well, we are now back in the garden to show you what other things I bought today. These bushes, I bought six of them. That's all they had. <laughs> I love how the leaves color up on these plants. They bloom with white flowers and then they have pink edible berries during summer. But the color of the leaves is amazing. These are Australian plants and they grow up to around one meter or slightly higher. I want them to plant close to the wall that um, separates my vegetable garden from the neighbor. I want this area to be more beautiful, mostly because I only plant vegetables here during the summer. I'm still in process of rearranging this area, which has um, the disadvantage of growing too many weeds and giving too much uh, work. <laughs> I still have the watering dripping pipes uh, off the ground, but soon I will have this all prepared up, unless it rains. I also bought uh, these begonias. They are hardy all year round in my area. These are lavanda bushes. They did not have any larger of this lavandula angustifolia. But uh, these uh, little bushes will grow rapidly in my climate. This another gorgeous bush is for a different part of the garden. I find it absolutely gorgeous. I'm so in love with the color of the leaves.
And then at the pottery shop, I found this aloe. I love it. Apparently, this was of the owner's private collection, but she willingly sold it to me. It must be a very old plant in this pot. It, it, the pot is even broke on the side. And I already removed a bunch of weeds. It has no ID, but it's going to bloom, so maybe I can find out what it is by looking at the flowers. This plant is so beautiful. And uh, there is a pup here. Can you see it? Some bags of potting mix and uh, also this mandevilla, which is an old favorite of mine. I have another one. Same color. This one is for another part of the garden. The flowers are beautiful, so velvety and uh, such a deep color. These succulents are Echeveria mandala. These pots need a good cleaning of the old leaves, but it's okay. This is the only succulent I cannot grow. I have lost several over the years and always during summer because this hybrid is very prone to stem rot during the uh, hot weather in summer. And it just so happens to be one of my favorite succulents. So I'm giving it another try. I bought uh, also this strawberry pot, which I loved. I am so sorry I did not buy another one, but I'll get it later. The strawberry plants came along. They already have fruits because the ones I already have are still late growing. My husband chose this dish for me while I was filming the one I wanted as a bird bath. But um, I don't like it because uh, it, is, uh, it has tall sides, so I will have to change it. I prefer to have a shallow dish. The shallow dish is better for both for birds and insects. And um, so I'll uh, just change it, no problem with that. It's a good excuse to go back to the shop. <laughs> And this is it for today. The sun is setting and I already can hear the crickets. I hope you have enjoyed the plants and the shop tour. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video.